Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today I am working on the Lunar Rover. Um, I am replacing the junk uh, 55 amp hour uh, lead acid battery with a 100 amp hour uh, LifePo 4 battery. So these are the steps that I need to take and that you will need to take if you're doing this, uh, doing this mod to your trailer and I consider it a necessary mod. Okay, so when you go to replace your battery, you're going to have to open this compartment here. And you're going to see this. This is where your battery is. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screws that are there, 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 and there. So that's step one. Take the screws, put them somewhere safe. I just put them over there. The lid will then lift off. It's a little awkward. As you can see, I've already removed the battery, so uh, I'm just going over the steps. Okay, so as you see, there is a cable harness here. There are white wires. And there are red wires. The white wires go on the positive, uh, white wires go on the negative, the red wires go on the positive. So all you had to do was have an adjustable wrench or a socket or something like that and take these two nuts off of the battery terminals, slide these off and slide the old battery out. So the battery that I decided to, uh, to, to purchase, I, I did a lot of research on, uh, on this and this is not sponsored content. I do not do sponsored content anymore. Uh, what I, what I get, I buy myself with my own money. Um, I just had, to, yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in doing sponsored content anymore. So I did, I went down the rabbit hole in these lithium batteries and I came up with a Canadian company. Uh, they are Voltium and I got the 12 volt, 100 amp hour Aventura off of their website. Um, it, it, it's a middle priced battery. It's not the high end and it's not the low end. It has a uh, temperature cutoff protection and um, it's got a little LCD screen. You can tell this is not charged right now. But uh, it's got a cool uh, LCD screen that shows the voltage along with the battery power left. So uh, this is the battery that I decided to use. Um, I wanted to support Canadian and it's good to do that whenever you get a chance if you are a Canadian. Um, so I am going to do the install of this battery and uh, I will show you what I've done. So step one was to put the battery in place and make sure the wires are routed away from things. Uh, positive's gonna be um, in the front, negative's gonna be in the back. Ensure that the electrical control switch in your camper is turned off. So the next step is to get inside your trailer and find this thing. This is your uh, distribution panel and converter system. Um, what you need to do is open the lid and there's a screw right there. Take this plastic housing off and then we... So the instructions I'm following are here. You can pause it and have a look. I can see in there mine is a model 41... 4135. So the instructions for that are as follows. So the next step is to remove the two screws on the bottom of the fan and let the fan hang because there's a tiny little switch under there we have to get to and it is really tight. Put your glasses on folks, you're going to need them. So after removing the fan, I was on the website and the instructions show switch on as lithium, switch off as lead acid. And you can see right there underneath the metal heat sink there 
is the switch you need to switch off and on. And you can see that it says, with all sources of power off, use a non-conductive tool to move the white toggle to the proper position. So you want to move it from off to on. So we need to, as I just mentioned, get in there um, and flick the switch. So it mentions to use a non-conductive material. So I just took an old paintbrush and I carved the end into a point. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to film it because it's just going to be way too awkward. So I'm going to flick the switch. All right. So I have under much duress and some funny looking ac acrobatics. I have flicked the switch and now I'm going to put the fan back on. I'm going to put the screws back in here. You didn't really need to take the screws out of there. I was just trying to get, make more space to figure things out. I should have looked at the documentation online before I started taking stuff apart. So um, I'm going to put everything back together and I'll meet you around back. Okay. So now all that mess from inside is cleaned up. Um, all we have to do is attach the negative the white wires to the negative here and the red wires to the positive flick this back on and uh, we should be good to go so in a nutshell I struggled through this so you guys don't have to um, I will show you this working in a moment all right, folks, everything is put back together. The screws are put back in there and there, one back there. All we need to do is turn the switch from off to on, and by rights, I should have power. So we're, I heard something click, so that's good. Let's go up and flip the lights on. And see, it works, and it does. So... Mission accomplished. Um, I have successfully installed a uh, lithium battery made by Volthium. Um, do not, do not pay an RV dealer to do this. You can do this yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. Save yourself some money and do this stuff yourself. Uh, if you like the video, if it helps, please subscribe. It helps me out big time. Um, Anyway, uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, comment below. Cheers.